Welcome back. We are here uh, looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have basically uh, tested the highs uh, on today's session. Um, at this point, I do expect us to pull back a little bit. However, uh, there's nothing stopping the Fed. Um, every single time uh, prices uh, go down, uh, the Fed comes in and basically pushes this market higher. Of course, uh, the reason why markets uh, went to all-time highs at this moment, not all-time highs, but we tested these highs again, was because we have um, a new uh, type of medicine that basically helps against the coronavirus. Now, this is not a full vaccine that basically uh, cures every person that gets uh, the coronavirus or, something, or, or anything like that. Um, so we have had a few of these um, news about uh, new treatments and, uh, uh, and vaccines and so on. And every single time, uh, the markets absolutely explode. Uh, most of the time, um, the news is baseless. For uh, sadly enough, I would actually like that basically we had a vaccine now so things could go back to normal. However, that is not the case. And as long as that is not the case, there will always be uncertainty uh, in the market. And therefore, I don't expect us to go uh, to the all time highs, uh, all -time highs uh, straight away. Because what usually happens is that uh, people are so um, uh, anticipating um, new medicine. And when they basically get the news, get the data and so on, they find out that, okay, it's not that as promising as they expected. And when that news comes out, uh, the market just collapses again. Um, and until we find a vaccine, we are going to see a lot of ups and downs in the market uh, because there are a few sectors in the market, not a few, a lot of sectors in the market, especially the service sectors, that are significantly affected because of the coronavirus. And things will not go back to normal until we technically find uh, some sort of um, treatment or, or vaccine for this virus. However, if you look at the markets, um, uh, on Monday, I predicted that we would go and retest these highs. We had we did that in, uh, in today's session, and uh, we saw also a, quite a pullback. So I do believe we'll go back and forth um, for a few trading sessions before we go and test uh, this um, this gap here. And when this gap basically gets filled, we will go to the all-time highs. And uh, um, that will happen eventually because this market is not based on economics at all. It is purely uh, liquidity and um, the actions of the uh, central banks around the world, especially the Federal Reserve, uh, ECB, and so on, that uh, uh, basically grind this market higher and higher and higher. Uh, of course, this can create a lot of problems in the long run uh, because the value just isn't there. You can pump money into the market. However, the value of um, the stocks or the companies and so on, it just isn't there. And therefore, you can basically in the long run get a much, much uh, bigger problem than we have at this current point. Um, so the uh, resistant levels, of course, we uh, just ran into resistant uh, in this area here, and therefore expect a little bit of pullback before we go higher. We probably go to this um, 20 exponential moving average. We can see that that has been playing as support. So we'll probably go down here, and then we'll go higher. Um, or we just go in zigzag. We just made a double top here. So we could also go, uh, as if you look at this um, uh, last time we were here, 
we went up and then we went down and then we went uh, sideways again. So often markets, when they have a double top, will they have the same uh, sequence. So we go up and down, we go up and down, and then we go higher. Uh, we may see that. And if that is the case, that means that we will go and retest this support level here at around the 3000 level. Um, that probably would make sense. Um, uh, however, this 220 exponential moving average has been for the last few uh, trading session been support. And it may well be that uh, when this uh, line gets higher, that we just basically push uh, us over this um, resistance level, and then we'll go and test um, uh, these uh, this gap. That may be the case. Um, at the moment, I am not going to trade this. I would rather trade um, uh, some other um, index like the Russell or uh, probably the Dow. Uh, because this is too too choppy at the moment. Uh, uh, if we basically break this uh, resistant um, level here, yes, I will be a buyer. And if we go down to this 3000 level here, I'll be uh, a buyer as well. I'm no not interested at the moment in shorting this market, uh, basically because uh, of the uncertainty and knowing that every single time this market just falls a little bit, uh, the Fed jumps in and pushes this market higher. So if we look at the technical indicators, we can see that the RSI is almost uh, at the overbought area. We're at the 67, uh, almost 68, and the 70 is basically the, uh, the limit. Um, so... Yeah, we're almost at overbought the area. Uh, uh, we can see that the MACD is above the line. So this could basically indicate that we go lower. So because we are overbought and uh, and the signal line is above, or the line is above, it basically may break and then cross and then we'll go lower. Uh, but... The indicator I like to look at is basically the Bollinger Band. Not often, but in this case, it has been uh, been quite accurate. And as you can see, every single time we go, we last time we went up, we basically went crashing down, and we hit the lower Bollinger Band, and then we went up again. And at this point, we are um, testing the upper Bollinger Band. And this may well indicate that we would go lower from here. Uh, the same goes for the stochastic. Uh, it also indicates that we are uh, about to go lower. So um, what we may expect is basically we go down, probably test uh, uh, the 20 exponential moving average, which has been uh, support. Um, and uh, in the worst case scenario, we'll go and retest the 3000 levels. And uh, of course, that will be significant support at the point at that point and that is a very good uh, buying opportunity um yes so hope you find this uh, analysis uh, helpful uh, you're welcome to support our channel by uh, clicking the subscribe button and liking uh, this video thank you very much